You can read much more about all of our accomplishments in our annual report. But right now, we'd like to take a few moments to focus on the single most significant unmet need in the arts today, and that's arts education. And you heard it right from the, the children's mouths. Mm -hmm. Carol? Thank you. Um, we believe that every single child deserves access to really a complete arts education that has many factors. Rack and CAN have been measuring and evaluating arts education in our community, and sadly, we have to say that the picture is grim. Yes, it is. Today, in the city of Portland, there are six school districts with a total of over 70,000 students. And of these, 50% send attend a school without an art teacher on staff, 21% attend a school without a music teacher on staff. That means no band, no chorus, no orchestra, nothing. The shortage of arts and music teaching is especially stark at our elementary school level, where 81% of Portland's elementary school students will complete fifth grade without attending a single art class. Schools have been creative, however, in trying to fill the gaps in arts education Parents obviously volunteer to teach art and music in school and some after school programs. <clears throat> programs like Young Audiences and others bring artists and musicians into the classrooms. But even still, we really continue to have a lot fewer opportunities for students to build their skills in the arts and in music. The result is fewer marching bands, fewer choirs, fewer student art exhibits, and fewer student concerts. We have examples of lost programs from all six of these school districts. While the goal is to provide one art specialist for every 500 students, here you can see that our children are being underserved in art, dance, drama, and music instruction. Despite the fact that arts education has been shown in study after study to improve student performance, Children who are involved in the arts are four times more likely to participate in a math or a science fair, three times more likely to win an award for school attendance, which we know is a major component of high school graduation, 4% more likely to be recognized for academic achievement, and three times more likely to be elected to class office. And we know, obviously, that leads to really interesting lives, right? Well, I'll say. <laughs> so three out of four. <laughs> <laughs> But without these experiences, sadly to say, 41% of our students are not graduating with their classes. Our community is telling us that we're on the wrong track and that arts education is a part of our solution. 95%, 95% of citizens rate arts education as important. And 83% of teachers believe that the arts have a profound impact on student learning. That's why superintendents from across the region are working on solutions to restore arts education in our schools. And we know that the arts are critical to teaching creative problem solving, creativity, and other 21st century skills that are essential for our children to be successful as workers in the future. Speaking to that point, Sora Basugi, founder and president of Zeba Design, explains that need like this. He tells us, Creative learning opportunities are vital to a well-rounded education and will no doubt lead to the type of innovative thinkers that organizations require. The need for a creative workforce is a fundamental part of the creative economy and the age of scarcity, an era that has quickly become.